this pandemic. This is increasing. So it's going to be, when I say virtue, it's actually going to be me. Uh, are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> you saying it. <laughs> Mr. Knight is saying it, and I'm a preacher. That's it. I had to change it because of what's going on. I want to say something else with regards because if you have been watching uh, the numbers for Kentucky, mm -hmm. they have in the last three or four days have been over 3,000 persons, who, persons who've been infected. So we will be going virtual Thanksgiving. Let's all be here. Amen. And who are we just gonna play to make the church go a little better? Amen. We have the preaching go better too. Okay, amen. <laughs> That's about it. Right. Starting next Sunday, for the next two Sundays, we will go virtual. And the next Sunday is you think it's going virtual. All right. It will be virtual. Next Sunday, the fifth Sunday will be virtual. Also, next Sunday is also is uh, Advent. Starts Advent. Uh, we will start Advent next Sunday as well, but it will be virtual. We'll have a guest speaker, but it will be virtual. And Brother Jalen has mentioned something to me Wednesday, and I'm, I'm going to say that to him. Uh, due to this next two weeks, something that maybe do differently, uh, that will help uh, in regards to virtual. Uh, so next Sunday, of course, the first Sunday, we're going to be virtual anyway. So we will resume, hopefully. And the 13th of December. But here's how I'm going to get you to understand something. I'm going to make it easier for you all. Uh, I have Sister Lisa because 13th is the question. It's question mark. I'm not sure yet. Sister Lisa will post it on Facebook. If you want it even quicker, go to the, the, the church website. If you're on the home page, it will say when we have service. Or not, uh, that'd be easier. Uh, so keep that in mind. Thirteenth is question mark, but we will let you know if we are going to do thirteen, or if we're going to do it uh, live. Well, let me say live. When I say open, uh, we will let you know. But for the next two Sundays, it will be done virtual. Okay. We need to protect each other. This stuff is serious. And people are not taking this thing serious. It's serious. It's seriously serious. And so we're going to, uh, uh, when I heard those numbers, I started praying. I started asking God for guidance and direction what to do and know those things. So as you press me, so you seek God's guidance in this pandemic to do what is right to keep us safe. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, also, the six reports are due. When we go in virtual, what you can do is stick your, your reports in the mail slot, or you can drop off the system board. Amen? Amen. Uh, I know it's, I, I have here, and, and the Lord changed it this morning. It's a lot of things that God just changed this morning. I believe in the Lord. No, normally, December 9th is quarterly. We still have your reports due because I got to turn them into Bishop Jones. But they will not be recorded, but they will be Bible study virtually. And I, I said something earlier, I said something to someone that will still do Bible study, but now we got to do that virtual too. Uh, so it's going to be virtual as well. Uh, until, uh, we'll see about the beginning of the 13th, and we'll go from there. Uh, I'm even in prayer about watch night service. Even in that. Uh, even though we started last year, started at seven. I mean, and pray with that in God's guidance and leading. What to do with that? Whether it be virtual, whether it be open. Uh, so pray for me then. Um, what else? I got so much here. I think that's it. That's it. So again, to find out whether we're going to be open the 13th or not. Sister Lisa, Brother Jaden, one of the two, will put it on Facebook. And somebody say, I don't have Facebook. Uh, it'll be on the website. 
So you just go later and just put up the Star Bethlehem website on the home page. I'll put it in big, I'll put it in big letters. We're open or we virtual. <laughs> and that, that we'll do that way. Is that all right? All right. Amen. Um, so the dean is going to talk to you. There's some birthdays you want to read. Birthdays want to recognize for the month of November. Uh, so we won't, we won't let her do that at this time. Please, sir.
bless you all. Thank you all. God bless you all's hearts. That's why we need when it's virtue, we need your counsel. Help us flow. Amen. 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 Thank God for you all. Thank God. We can honor God. Amen. We're in this house. To all the preachers, to the papers and papers, to our viewers, we welcome you to this virtual viewing of our worship experience and worship service. We are proud to have baptized Pentecostal Church of Holiness, the House of Bread. Everybody is welcome. And where everybody is, somebody. Amen. Amen. I just came up to the Of the upright 
in, and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in them. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. For the time you shall gather, my brothers and my sisters, I want to talk to the church of God. I will praise the Lord. Amen. I will praise the Lord. Well, y'all remember 106 started off like 111. Praise the Lord. As I look at verse number one, I want to look at it like this. The declaration and the decision to give God praise. That's verse one. The declaration and the decision to give God praise. <laughs> the word declaration means something that is announced. Decision is a choice. <laughs> I have a choice to praise God. I'm going to announce God in my praise. Mm -hmm. mm. He starts off verse 1 and says, Praise the Lord! Exclamation. I told y'all two few weeks ago, the word praise means hallelujah. Yeah. The highest praise yeah. the believer can give right. is hallelujah. But I found out something that's indeed a little deeper. This word praise also means to boast. All right. Yeah. All right. When we boast, we're not boasting of ourselves. Amen. We're boasting about the Lord. Amen. And we're boasting in the Lord. Yes. <laughs> he makes an announcement. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. A declaration. He's announcing praise the Lord. Amen. Before describe how the psalmist would praise him. Let me declare his praise. Let me announce his praise. The declaration also has an idea of encouraging others to do the same. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Don't let me praise God by myself. Right. That's what he said. Yeah. This is a corporate thing, not an individual thing so much. Yeah. Right. So one of y'all, he said, praise him with me. Right. Come on. A corporate praise. He's encouraging others to do the same. I will praise the Lord, and you should also. I'm going to praise the Lord, but you should also. Yeah. Don't let me do this by myself. Yeah. Because I'm in the house of God, and don't let me just sit here and praise him by myself. Right. Because he's been good to you as well. Yeah. 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 So join me in the announcement of praising of God. He's worthy to be praised. Let's take a look at the text in verse number one. He says, I will praise the Lord. He was somewhat like repeating. But he describes how he's going to praise the Lord. He says, with my whole heart, I will praise the Lord. Watch this. He changes from declaration to proclamation. He proclaims the work of the Lord. He also talks about how that he's declaring that God is good. Yes. And how awesome God is. From declaration to proclamation. Mm. From something that is proclaimed. He announces and compromises what God is and with his whole heart he's doing this. Mm. Yeah. He's not doing it half heartedly, but he's doing it from his heart. With all his fire, with all his being, yes. he's praising God. Uh -huh. He put everything he's got in him mm -hmm. and praising of God. Yeah. Yeah. But God has given me his best, so therefore I must give him my best yeah. and give him all that I've got. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, my whole heart, my mind, my soul, my spirit. Yeah. I'm giving it to God in praise. 
Watch this. If we want others to praise God, we must praise God first. Amen. I just saw something. I don't use me. Thank you, Jesus. It makes no sense to me telling y'all we praise the Lord. I just thank him. Amen. Hear me. If I'm going to say praise the Lord, I got to show that I'll show you I'm praising God too. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. If you want others to praise God, you got to praise God too. Yeah. Amen. Okay, I'm going to give it. This is like getting trouble. But I've seen people say praise the Lord, they don't do nothing. Amen. They don't smile. They don't wave their hand. They don't say hallelujah. Uh -huh. They say praise the Lord, they just stand there. Uh -huh. You don't tell me praise, but what you gonna do? All right. All right. All right. Yeah. I give up. Praise. Uh -huh. And so no, so I know what he's gonna say. He said, if you want us to love God, you gotta love God too. Yeah. 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 So true. Let's just listen to this in verse one. He says, in the assembly of the upright. <laughs> And in the congregation. Uh -huh. Well, this word assembly means, refers to a small group. Uh -huh. Or a small private group. Uh -huh. Then he says congregation refers to a large group. Yeah. A large gathering uh -huh. of God's people. Right. Now watch this. Notice he says, in the assembly of the upright. Those who are righteous. All right. mm -hmm. You can't give God right praise if you're right. Amen. 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 You can't give God an authentic praise until you're right. Amen. Amen. The text says in the assembly of the upright. Yes. Uh -huh. Which means those who are righteous in the assembly. Right. In a small group. In a small private group. And then in the large gathering of groups, there should be, oh, Jesus, an upright people. Amen. That's what he's saying in the text. Mm -hmm. He goes on in verse number two. Yeah. Watch this. The point is in two is the study of God's great work. The study of God's great work. He starts out too. He says, The works of the Lord are great. Yeah. Other than he describes the work of God being great. Mm -hmm. mm. The word work means his acts are great. Amen. God should be praised for who he is. Mm -hmm. I think the choir says this how we praise him, we worship him for who he is. Amen. Watch this. Not so much what I can get out of here. Mm -hmm. That's what we mess up. That's yeah. exactly what we mess up. That's Say basically it. what we it. clear. It's not so much what we can get out of here. It's for who God is. Yeah. Yeah. We worship him for who he is. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'm going to use a second term. A lot of Christians are this way. A lot of church folk pimp God. Come on. Yeah, come, on. Yeah, come on. What do I mean? I'm glad you asked me. What I mean by that, because they just get what they can get out of God, right. and they don't do nothing for God. Amen. They don't live for God. Amen. They don't walk for God. Right. They don't talk for God. They just try to get all they can get out of God without any, any all right. thing doing for God. Yeah. Not doing anything for God. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. But the psalmist will tell us, praise him for who he is. Yes. God is awesome. Yes, yes. God is great. So God is marvelous. Yes, God is terrific. Uh -huh. All of those adjectives. Come on. Mm. And since we praise him for who he is, but we but what he has done is worthy to be praised too. Uh -huh. I got up this morning. I got up this morning Amen. in my rough mind. Yes. Yes. They didn't call me in with a white jacket for me. Mm -hmm. I was in my rough mind. Yes. 
Old folks yeah. school. Let's go old school for a minute. Mm-hmm. Old folks said, now, woke up this morning with a mom. Come on, talk to me somebody. Yeah. I woke up. Well, first of all, I had to go to bed. I had to go to bed. It was a mold. 
It was just the significance. Mm -hmm. You are molded yeah. by God. Amen, amen. You are shaped by God. I want to help somebody else. Yeah. Don't you let nobody tell you you're ugly. And you believe it. Mm -hmm. they, they don't tell you. But don't you believe it? Yeah. Because you were wonderfully made. Yeah. You were different from everything else and everybody else. Yeah. They got to get it. Yeah. Special. Yeah. You're unique mm -hmm. in who you are. Right. You are the best version of you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He goes on and says, study by all who have. <laughs> Woo! All who have pleasure mm -hmm. in them. Mm -hmm. Pleasure in the creation of the Creator. Mm -hmm. You ought to, oh my God. You ought to be, have to be the light mm -hmm. that God made you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. right. yeah. Back in the day, we used to sing a song, Sister Teresa. Mm -hmm. God made me who I am. Yeah. We are that used to be a song, song in a congregation. Amen. A congregation song. Yeah. Lord, you made me yeah. who I am. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Back then we go in on that song. Yeah. Yeah. Why are we going on that song? Because the people start thinking about who they are oh and how God made them. Yeah. And they'll go in on that song. Yeah. God made me yeah. who I am. So I started investigating even myself because I'm creation. Mm -hmm. I started investigating my fingers. Mm -hmm. Oh, ten mm -hmm. I started to move my arms. It's black, up and black, down. Black. Mm -hmm. I started to study the, 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 the creation that he made me. And so therefore, when I looked at the study, I started to investigate. I started to search closely and look closely. Yes. And start to take pleasure in what God done in me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Yeah. I started taking delight in what God has done yeah. in me and doing yeah. in me right now. Right. Yeah. And even giving God praise for what He's even going to do further oh. in me. Right. I'm taking even a greater delight in what He's going to do for me. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so that's verse number two. Yeah. Verse number three. His works and His righteousness. His works. And his righteousness. Mm. Listen to this. His work is honorable and glorious. His works are the honor. His works are the glorified. Guess what? He works. When we start looking at it like that, we'll start giving God a greater praise. We start to look at what God has done for us as individuals. Amen. And we'll look at God maybe and He's worthy to be honored and worthy to be glory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But watch this second part. I'm going to get through. I'm almost there. He says, and his righteousness endures forever. Oh, yeah. His the meaning of the word, right? What are the definitions of righteous? Is his God's attributes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His attributes are not like man. Nah. Man would drop you kick you to the curb. Yeah, exactly. But I'm gonna say something. God didn't drop you. Yeah. People would drop you. Yeah. 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 People would drop you quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah. But God yeah. won't drop you. Because that's not his attribute. That's not his character. No, it's not. Right. Teach this, Bishop. Teach this. Let me know. Stop letting people discourage you. All right. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. I'm say something. I'm going to sound kind of, kind of rough, maybe. Drop people who don't give you peace. Preach. All right. All right. All right. We got people in our lives that don't give us no peace. Don't bring us no peace. Right. And so therefore we unpeaceful because we got people in our life that are unpeaceful. Right. We start to operate like what we are 
around. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Mm. Say that. All right. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. He told me to teach this. You teach it. Stop allowing you in your lives don't bring you no peace. Amen. Life is too short to be stressed out on people who are not peace. That's it, girl. Chop, chop. Cut them off. Cut them off. Because God has a work for you. God has a mission for you. You can't allow people and stuff to mess you up from your walk. And you're called in God. Amen. And I don't talk about calling me a preacher and all that Amen. stuff. Right, God right. has to call me to live right. Yeah. 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 Amen. Teacher. So you want to look at this call, be a mission, apostle, and all that stuff. But he, God has given every one of us a call to live right. Yeah. A call to live holy. Yeah. A call to live righteous. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And if you want me that call, you got to make So you just gotta drop some people. Mm -hmm. And then the flip side won't let the people drop you either. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says his righteousness, his God's attributes, mm -hmm. endures means lasts forever. Yes. Come on. There's no end <laughs> to God's righteousness. Yes. Watch this. He says forever. His righteousness is eternal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is eternal righteousness. That's good news right there. Amen. That's good news right there. Listen to this. Everything he does reveals his glory and his majesty. His righteousness never fails. His righteousness never fails. Mm. Everything else fails. But God's righteousness doesn't fail. The last verse is not closing. I'm say the same. The, the, the next one I want to look at describing the great works of God. Describing the great works of God in verse 4. He says this He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. Wow. He has made his marvelous. Marvelous. His, his, his great acts. He made his wonderful or marvelous works mm -hmm. to be remembered. Mm -hmm. Not to be forgotten. Right. But keep you remembering his great miraculous works. Some of us got some great works God done for us. Yes. 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 Amen. And I remember the song, I keep doing these songs. I don't know. These old songs you say, I never shall forget. Yeah. Now, okay, I'm going to do it right. Somebody got to be careful that when we say that, we forget. Mm. Mm. Why do I say that? Because when we say that song says, I never shall forget, what the Lord has dealt with me, right. and he's not going to show some relative yeah. that's some relative yeah. yeah. of what he's done with but sometimes we forget and we don't give him the gratitude right. and the gratefulness that he that he deserves. Right. But the song says, I know shall forget what the Lord has done for me. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. yes. yes. Woo! His mighty, mighty quiet works ought to be, watch this, ought to be remembered. Uh -huh. But let me say something else that we talk about um marvelous and miraculous and all that. But his works are extraordinary. Amen. Yes, they are. Can I go somewhere in that? Nobody can compare to the works of God. Nobody. I don't care how brilliant they think they are. They cannot compare to the extraordinary works of God. Mm. He won't let me. When you really want God, He won't let me forget. Now, catch what I just said. When you really want God, God won't let you forget. Yeah. You be in the kitchen washing dishes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank the goodness of Jesus. Uh -huh. If you put down a dish rag yeah. and just put it up the jail. Yeah. If you put down a dish rag, yeah. wave your hand. Yeah. Put down a dish rag and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank God I got you in my life. What? That's another song. What do I do without you? Uh -huh. You 
preach the sermon. Yeah. Not even there. Yeah. What will they be? Uh -huh. It be very dark and gray. But I am. I am. So pray. Yes. I got Christ yes. in my life. Yes. Yes. I am grateful. Yes. I am thrilled. Yes. I am a little elated yes. that I got Christ yes. in my life. Yes. That's what's going on. In Jesus oh, yeah. Amen. Woo, Amen. Amen. Jesus. Thank you. And I come to the close of verse number four. He says, now let's talk about this word to you remember and never forget. But he says, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion. I'm back with you. He's gracious. If gracious means the mark of his kindness. Gracious means the mark of his kindness. Mm. And then, full of compassion. Full of mercy. Ecclesiastes, the lamentation brother, says this. His mercies are new every morning. I got it this morning with new mercy. You got it this morning. Give yeah, yeah, yeah. it a moment. The Lord the same. You will have new mercy. Oh, my God. My God. My God. Let's see how this stuff right there. I got new mercy. You got new mercy. You got new mercy. You got new mercy.
With the love of God, I want you to do it from your heart. And if you're not saved, and you feel and you're not saved, God can save you right in your living room, your kitchen. All you have to do is ask God to forgive you of your sins and believe, and you shall be saved. Yeah. Romans 10 and 13. If we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart, we shall be saved. Again, Romans 10, 13. I don't want you to leave this beach market shores and not be saved. Amen. 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 With the love of God. And if you, again, have bounced God is just to forgive you. He's just to forgive you. He's righteous. We just talked about his righteousness. His attributes are right. His character is right. When he cares you to do that. I uh, talked to uh, uh, Sister Sam. I'm going to pray for her. So her yesterday, she can't even move. And I found out what the deal was. She was in an auto accident. Auto accident. When they got the, 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 the impact messed up her pelvis. She can't walk but a few steps. Only a few steps. She talked to me. She said, I long to be in the church. She said, well, she, and, and sometimes, sometimes, not her, but sometimes God tries to get kiss our attention. And are we paying attention? Because God is allowing us time to get right now. To get right now. We want to pray for her. And she just longs to be in the house of God. She goes to the doctor the next few days to see what's going on. X-rays to see what's going on. She almost came this morning to school. She said, I'm going to walk in. I want to school her in. I want to pray for her that she would walk in. Yes. The house of God. Yes. We're going to pray for people's deliverance. Yes. Talk about it. Talk about it. Jesus. We just can't just, just say this and not do this. We are afraid for people's deliverance. Oh, yeah. oh, people yeah. are going through some stuff yeah. Yeah. and they need to be delivered. Yeah. And some people don't know how to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. Some people don't know how to get out of the, what they're going through. We are praying through. Yeah, yeah. Old school church. Oh, okay. I guess I really am getting old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting old. And I'm glad I came up the way I came up. In the church. This modern church stuff is crazy. Yes. They're leaving God out. Yes, they're, leaving, they're leaving the move of God out. Yes. They're leaving the limits out. Mm -hmm. You are right like you are. The devil is alive. Yes. If you messed up spiritually and sinfully, you're not all right. Yes. You messed up. You didn't go to the surgeon. Right. Just like you go to the surgeon in the natural, go to the surgeon in the spirit. Yes. Go to God. Yes. And then do the work. And I'll tell you what, when he doesn't work, you won't be cut on you. Amen. Amen. There is, you want to worry about six weeks recovery? Mm -hmm. You would come and do your thing. If you really need right, what you right. need, what you right. say. Amen. 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 I, I, God is just laying on my heart to do this and say this. And I don't know how to do this. No one will say this. I just keep it moving. But God is laying on my heart. We got to get it right. Amen. But if you see stuff going on, going on, we need to pray. But I'm going to pray this too. Thank you, Lord. The guy who's in the on Pennsylvania Avenue right now is still trying to do his craziness with his suing and everything comes back not in hope. That he will concede mm -hmm. and give the information to the incoming cat. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Before I pray, is anybody who desires prayer? Amen. Yes, ma'am. Most 
most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you. Again, for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings that you have bestowed upon we, your people. You are better than us and not to ourselves. Whereby we're glad about it. We thankful, we are so thankful for who you are and what you mean to us. You are El Shaddai. You are more than enough. But I pray you bless Sister Cynthia's uh, boss. Uh, bless that situation you touch and you move by your mighty hand and you move by your mighty power. You know what the need is, you know who it is. And I pray you move and touch with your mighty hand. That only you can do in the name of Jesus. God, I pray you bless the Calvin family. You touch and bless them in the mighty and awesome name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. Bless the Dina's uncle. Touch his body with your mighty hand of healing from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. God, I pray God you will bless all those who have been affected by COVID-19. You touch their bodies name by name and one by one. We speak Jehovah Rapha, the restorer of health. Restore the health to the bodies, God. Bless those frontline workers, God. Protect them and shield them from danger, seen and unseen, God. Bless them in a mighty and an abundant way, God. I pray, God, you bless the sister who asked for prayer for her and her family, God. We pray you bless and strengthen in God. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. But I pray God you will bless God. Oh God, uh, Sister uh, Gwen Barnes, God, touch her, bless her and her family, God. Uh, the Reed family, God. Uh, bless God, uh, the Davis family and bereaved families everywhere. Give comfort and give strength. You reach where no one can reach. You touch where no one can touch. You bless the cat is set. Touch her body with your mighty hand of healing, God. I pray you touch God in a mighty way that she will walk back into the house of God. Walk back in your house. Walk, God. Walk, God. Walk, God. I declare and decree that she walk back in your house. Give her strength. Touch her from the top of her head to sort of feet, God. With your healing hand. Bless the joyous brother. Bless her. Strengthen her. Encourage her. Lift her up, God. Bless her in a mighty and an abundant way, God. Touch in an awesome way, God. Bless her husband, God. Brother Brown. If you touch him, God. If you strengthen him, spirit, God. Move mighty in his life, God. Oh, God. That you be glorified in their lives, God. Move mighty, God. All the sick of the church. Name by name and one by one. God, I pray that you will touch their bodies. You will strengthen their bodies, God, with your mighty and awesome hand of healing. Heal. In Jesus' name, I pray. God, I pray you lead me, you guide me, you serve God. Lead me, guide me, direct me what to do, how to do, and when to do, as well as what to do, God, in this pandemic. God, lead me, guide me, direct me, God. Oh, God, bless your people, name by name and one by one. Open doors, provide, make ways out of no ways. In this time of uncertainty, in this time of crisis, you keep your people strengthened. You keep your people encouraged. God, help them through this pandemic. Give them peace and give them joy in the midst of a storm. Move mighty for your people, God. God, I pray that as we leave your house, you get in every vehicle. You buy every mechanical problem. Yes, Lord. Dispatch your angels right about your people. Cover them with your blood. Cover them with tribe and mercy, God. We pray your blessing in the week coming in. They have a great, wonderful, and blessed and protected week. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, and we do thank you. Amen. Amen. Y'all be dismissed too. All in one.
God bless you. God keep you. May you have a great and blessed week. God's blessings. And thank you, viewers, for being with you. God's blessings. You come here and you be strengthened and be encouraged. Blessings to all.